Hello everybody, it is me, Andrew, and welcome to this review reveal show and tell of the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron reed with artwork by Jenna Della Grataglia. I am super excited to have this deck in my possession. It is not officially out yet as of the making of this video. I am making it on July 27th. So um, this deck comes out, I do believe, August 4th. So you are getting a little sneak peek into, uh, into this deck. Um, it is published by Hay House, um, of course. And the back of the box says, the wisdom of the energy of seven can be seen in cultures all over the world, in belief systems throughout history and in your own life today. Its influence is reflected in the way you think, how you make decisions, what you encounter within yourself, and the conditions of your world. Drawing upon the power of seven, this oracle reveals how we as individuals experience our lives, giving us the framework from which to make empowered choices as we co-create our reality. With guidance from intuitive master and oracle expert Colette Baron reed you can now awaken to the power of the source of, of source within you, becoming a channel for divine abundance and miracles. So um, I love that. It is a 49 card deck, which is actually smaller than some of the decks that she's been doing recently that have had um, cards in the 50, um, high 50 range. Um, I think one card in one deck even has 63 cards. Um, but that's still, I mean, that's not really an issue at all. This is the box. Um, like her, all of her recent boxes, it has the little wraparound design. It says, co-create your most beautiful and meaningful manifestations. And it has a little ribbon to get the book out and the cards. And then it says, life is magical. You are magical. Love it. So, um, I... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the guidebook, but I'm also going to just let you know a little bit about this deck. So um, I did Colette Baron Reed's free seven day, seven energies challenge. I didn't make it all the way through um, that challenge because uh, I was working and stuff and I didn't, I just didn't have the time it seemed to be able to do it, but it was really great. And what she said was, this is not necessarily chakras. It is just about energy centers in the body. So um, I'm sure she's going to explain that a little bit more um, in the guidebook. But the things that um, the things that she talked about and the things that I read about in the challenge um, are really are, are, are fantastic and actually do um, correspond with the um, with the chakra system some. Now I have seen a few of these cards. Um, I tend to um, to try and when it gets closer to the release date of decks. I Google them, I try and find pictures of them because I'm just like, I really want to see them. So that's what I did with this one. Um, Amazon, I don't know if you know this or not, but if you look at decks on Amazon, sometimes Amazon has um, like a little space if you scroll all the way down um, where it talks about the cards and like shows the cards and things like that. Um, Amazon had that, so I saw it there. Um, and then I saw it... Um, I saw it on Penguin Random House that came up on Google, and I, 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 just by seeing the cards that I saw, I know I'm gonna love this deck so much. Um, something interesting that Colette noted in one of her weekly videos about this deck is that um, it is not meant to be read reverse. So like, not like it, sometimes her cards have a protection message. So I'm guessing that maybe there's a substitute for that, or maybe there's an imbalance aspect of it. I'm not sure. We'll have to look at the guidebook to find out. Um, it is worth noting that I was sent this deck um, by the lovely team of Colette Baron Reed um, to review for all of you. That will in no way um, skew what I think about it or what I feel about it. That's just what happened. Um, so I'm going to move the box out of the way. I actually like that the box is smaller. Um, it's not, uh, not too cumbersome. So we have the, a table of contents divided up by the energies, and it's the card numbers as well, which is great. And then we have kind of working with it, the themes of this deck. So energy one, um, to loosely base the architecture of this deck on the seven colors of the rainbow. Yeah. So basically, energy one is red, earth, money, family, inherited traits, survival, primitive instincts, security. And moving up, we do, um, 
we do have kind of the uh, chakra correspondences. How to ask the right questions. There's a prayer. How to read the cards. Seven energy crescent reading. Ooh, I like that. And then we have a message for you from the cards. So then she drew a card for us and put that in the guidebook. And then we have the cards and their meaning. So we have energy one. Um, so we have earth magic. So this guidebook I also like because it doesn't have um, pictures in it. Like I'm very particular about guidebooks. Um, some guidebooks I really want to have a full page illustration. Sometimes you just don't need it. Um, and I feel like you don't need it with this deck, so I like that the, they made the guidebook smaller to make up for not having the card representation on the side. So you have the title, the number of the card, the title of the card, the key concepts, and then about the card. And it looks like that for the whole, the whole shebang, which is interesting. And then um, she gives you some books over here to look at as well. Um, yeah, so it's, it's basically a chakra deck without saying it's a chakra deck from what I'm seeing. Um, so this is the back of the cards, which I love. Love rainbows. Yay, rainbows. Um, another note about the, uh, the seven energies challenge is that, um, I think like the first three minutes of the first live video, Colette was like, shit. And she goes, I probably shouldn't be saying shit, shit. And, and it was just like the greatest thing ever um, because I feel the same way. <laughs> I curse all the time. So card number one is Earth Magic. So, I mean, I feel like Jenna's artwork just keeps getting better and I never know how that's possible. But it's so good. Roots of Abundance. And we saw in the guidebook there is no alignment or there's no balance or imbalances um, message. It is really just the, the guidance that comes is the guidance that comes and it's up to your um, intuition. Time Machine. And so you'll notice up here that it's the color of the energy center or chakra that you're working with, which is a nice little, a nice little touch. It is what it is. And I believe each energy center has seven cards. Into me, I see. Ah, oh, I love it. I saw one of my card, one of um, one of the cards from this deck, and I knew that it was. Um, that it was just going to be like my all-time favorite. But I hadn't seen all of them yet, <laughs> so I was like, "Oh yeah, it'll be my favorite. This is the one." <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, it'd be my favorite, but I haven't seen them all yet, but I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be my favorite card. I love the um, the really clean lines and font. I like that a lot. And of course, I'm gonna draw a card for you guys if you stick around to the end of this video. And the card will be for all directions of space and time, whether you're watching this on the day it's posted or whether you're watching this on the day that you're watching it, whether it's, you know, three years from now or whatever, the card will be for you. I love this. This is really nice. So we're up into the throat shock right now. third eye. I really like this card too. This is on the front of the deck. The Oracle's Gift. I like that a lot. Then you have a higher view. Smoke and mirrors. So it does seem that um that this deck, um, I like this card a lot. 
that this deck is um, different in the fact that her normal decks, as I said, like the, the back it just is it's symmetrical. So if it's upright or if it's reverse, you don't know. Um, this deck seems to not necessarily be like that. This deck tends to be, or seems rather right now at the moment I'm filming this, seems to be more of like a, um, a, 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 a deck that just has like some stronger cards in it and then a deck that talks, and then some cards that talk about the shadowy type aspects of things. Um, that's what it seems like to me right now. Um, so I'm going to draw a card and we're going to see how the guidebook reads. It shuffles nicely, although I do miss the gilding from Hay House. Oh, I miss it so much. Um, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> that ship has long sailed, so I'm not, I'm not bitter. <laughs> All right, so we have body and soul. Key concepts, taking care of yourself. This is the first energy center. Um, taking care of yourself, seeing yourself as a complete package, body not separate from soul, Centered in your sense of self, comfortable in your body, your authentic identity, and physical health. Extreme self-care is called for when you receive this card. Answer truthfully. Are you taking care of yourself? Your first choice may be to take care... It may be to care for others before meeting your own needs. Check in with yourself. Are you experiencing halt? Hunger, anger, loneliness, tiredness? This card is a signal that it's time to take a break from your current focus and get busy taking care of you because you are worthy of this care. What simple things require your attention so that you can function optimally in your world and deliver your best life a day at a time? Another message that this card holds is about how you live with authenticity. Can you be at ease within yourself? You doing you with pride and self-worth. Remember, you are a soul that manifests through a body, a spiritual being having a human experience. And that means you are here on purpose, even if there are days when you wonder about that. There is an intentionality to be to your being here now, just the way that you are. In this time in our collective story, your being here is important, for you are a precious being with a purpose, even if it seems elusive some days. Just know that life loves you. With that in mind, your job is to do your part and to make your experience a healthy one. How you nourish your body, mind, and soul is directly related to how you experience your life. It's time to put yourself first and everything else will fall beautifully into place. Um, this card is actually very apropos for, uh, for me right now, I know, um, because I am, as you're watching this, still on a break from Instagram. Um, I decided to pull back from Instagram. I decided to pull back from my business um, and to take a month off, 30 or 30 days off, and to just um, relax and just renew and just not have to worry about going, going, going all the time. Um, so this is this is perfect for me. And if you're feeling that pull, I encourage you to um, to do that. It's a very healing thing. Um, so this was a review reveal show and tell of the oracle of the seven energies by colette baron reed with art by jenna della grataglia i'm so excited to work with this deck even more i cannot wait um to use it in readings uh for clients i cannot cannot wait if you still want to book a reading with me i am still accepting bookings for um i took some readings off that are live so i do have some uh some readings available on my site it is a 30 uh, 30 to 60 day turnaround time. So you still can book with me. Um, it'll just be a little bit of a wait while I am taking care of myself. And I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are staying safe. Don't forget to wear a mask and I'm sending you so much love. All right. Bye.